five, Max Mark Gurman posted a few Apple Watch 2 rumors today, including the possibility of a video camera in the top bezel of the watch that would allow you to use it for FaceTime. Uh, now, Ron, it's, I know that you're an Android guy, but have you heard anyone asking for a video camera in any smartwatch? No. <laughs> no, I mean, and, and that's the thing. I'm not surprised. I mean, because, you know, I, I was just saying a couple of weeks ago, I saw somebody using FaceTime like in public, like on the street. And I was like, wow, does anybody actually do that? Like, does anybody actually use FaceTime as they're walking to have a conversation? And not many people do. I mean, I'm, I'm often in San Francisco and New York City. I don't see people using that. I can't imagine people walking through the city while having a conversation on their watch. And no, I, I, I get why they're going to do this, but I don't think it's any, anything anybody's clamoring for. Right. It is in all the movies of the future. That's what it's, we always imagine doing, but it's the dream of the Dick Tracy watch. That's what it is. So, <laughs> right. I mean, I still have. Uh, I'm still a little bit embarrassed to pay with my watch. I'm getting over that. Um, today, I was shopping in a store who just got like a payment system. They just got Square, or some kind of iPad payment system, and I made a joke, you know, asking if I could pay with my watch, and they were just seemed terrified by this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I think it's just that you know, it, this is normal people aren't doing all these things with their watch yet. Yet. And that's the key word is yet, is that we are, it's so, this is the first batter of the first inning of the of the wearable watch kind of revolution and that sort of thing. And and I honestly, I don't think Apple or Google with, with Android Wear have figured it out yet. I don't think that they're perfect. Every The majority of the people that I talk to that um, have bought Apple watches and a lot of people I talk to who have bought Android Wear watches, they say, yeah, it's neat, it's cool, but you don't need it. It's not, it's not absolutely mandatory. Like it's not, it's not the key thing that helps me run my life better. Right now, which is kind of a fun little add-on if you can afford it, so. Right, I mean, I think of that about most technology. I don't think yeah. you really need any of it. Even the iPhone, which I think, you know, or, you know, anyone's smartphone, you'll say, oh, I can't live without it. And sometimes I feel like I can't live without it, but the truth is I probably could live without it. Well, I mean, I mean, I think I think both of us remember the time before these phones, and uh, we lived without them. So it's <laughs> it's 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 just a it's how you are able to deal with the lack of technology in your life. But that said, it does enrich it and does make it better. And I love my, I mean, I've got an Android Wear watch, and I love it. I, it's great for running and for when I'm commuting and and out on the go. I don't need to take my phone out of my pocket. But basically, it's just an extension of your fo phone at this point. It's not truly an independent device. Right. I mean, I love mine too. And I, I think the other thing that these people that I scared them asking to pay with my watch, they said, you know, the next, the next thing it's going to be embedded into our face. <laughs> I think that that is what the one thing that scares people, I think, like this is just the first step to, you know, robots taking over the world through our skin yeah. somehow. So... Potentially. <laughs> if, if Google has anything to say for it, they will. <laughs> True. <Yeah. laughs>